Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new video of PowerPoint School. Today I will show you how you can use some of the animations so that you can understand how to animate this type of roadmap presentations. In this video, we are going to focus only on the animation process. But before starting out today's tutorial, let me tell you that now PowerPoint School has its own store which is theslideflix.com. From here, you can get access to all our premium templates. I'll provide the link in the description of this video so you can check it now. As we are only focusing on the animation part, what I'll do, select these two curves holding the shift key, drag them to left and place them outside of our slide. Do the same thing for these two curves, drag them to down and place them here. Now we will add some line animations on these curves. First select this curve, then to add the animation, go to animation tab, click on animation pane, from here we can look over animation status. To add the first animation on this curve, from add animation, from motion paths, I will select this line animation. Then from effect option, change the direction to right. Click on this red arrow, holding the shift key from your keyboard, drag this red dot to the right and place it outside of the slide. Then keep this on click, duration 6 seconds, click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, remove smooth start and smooth end, from timing, I will select repeat until the end of the slide. Then just press OK and you will get to see the preview of our animation. Now to add this animation on the second car, we can use the animation painter tool to copy and paste the same animation. But as we need to set different time and position, I would like to follow the manual way. So let's select the second car to add the animation from add animation, I will select lines. To change the direction from effect option, select right, click on this red arrow holding the shift key, Drag this red dot to the right and place it outside of our slide. Set start with previous duration 6 seconds. Delay 0.75 second. Click on this drop down arrow from effect option. Remove smooth start and smooth end. From timing, select repeat until the end of the slide and press OK. Again, you can see the preview of the animation. Now what we need to do is select this car, we will follow the same step from add animation, select lines from motion paths, from effect option this time we need to select up, click on this red arrow holding the shift key, drag this red dot to the upward, place it over here, then set start with previous duration 3 seconds, delay 0 0.50 second from animation pane. Click on this drop down arrow, go to effect option, remove smooth start, smooth end, from timing, select repeat until the end of the slide, press ok. In this process, there are two most important things. First one is to which point you are placing your object for the animation and the second one is what timing you are setting. If you don't set the proper time or perfect position, you will not get the exact look and during the animation, these cars may clash with each other. Our main goal is to set the animations in a way so that these cars never clash with each other. For this last curve, we are setting the time with previous duration 3 second, delay 1.50 second. Then from effect option, remove smooth start, smooth end. From timing, set repeat until the end of the slide and press OK. If you play the animation from the very beginning, you can see these cars are not clashing with each other. Now we have the animation loop which will continue until the end of the slide. So for these other objects, we may add some basic appear animations. For this number object, you can select grow and turn animation. Keep this on click duration 0 0.50 second. For this group of text boxes, select fly in animation. From effect option, you can change the direction. Keep this start after previous duration 0 0.50 second. Now you need to do the same thing. Just select grow and turn for this number object, keep this on click duration 0 0.50 second, select this group of text boxes, select fly in animation, from effect option, 
change the direction from right set start after previous and keep the duration 0 0.50 second as we are using the same animations with the same time settings you can just use the animation painted tool to copy and paste the animation for this we need to select an object where we have already added an animation then click on animation painted tool to copy that animation and paste it on the next object this is a very simple and straightforward process and we're done with the animation I believe now you have understood how I have created this animation loop and you can see these cars are not clashing with each other. In the same way you can create more ideas and give them a different look. As it is a premium template of PowerPoint School, you can visit our website thesliteflix.com. I'll provide the link in the description of this video. And also thanks to all our Patreon sponsors, for them we are being able to create this type of templates. By becoming our Patreon sponsor, you can also get access to all our premium templates. So please check the link in the description. So that's all from this video. I'll see you in the next one and thanks for watching.